Hi, I'm Dr. Michelle Stanley, flute professor at Colorado State University, and today I'm going to discuss how to prepare this year's Colorado All-State Band and Orchestra audition excerpts. As with any audition preparation, planning ahead is key to great auditions. Part of this planning comes months in advance of the audition. Plan your regular practice of your etude in your schedule. It is really important to put in the time to make these excerpts really great. Plan your breathing, dynamics, and phrasing for a thoughtful performance. This kind of practice is so important for a good audition. I would also suggest slow practice to start so that you are as comfortable as possible when you perform. Even if you believe you know the music very well, continue to regularly practice the music up until the audition. Learning the correct notes and rhythms from the very first reading is one of the most important things you can do to prepare well. If you learn incorrect notes or rhythms, it is very difficult to undo them later. You will end up undoing and then relearning the right notes, and that's wasteful of your precious practice time. Practice slowly so that you are sure you have learned the music correctly. Working with a metronome is also a great way to start your practice so that you have a great concept of the expected tempo and a strong internal pulse. This is something I do in my practice regularly. Another tip for audition preparation is recording yourself. Periodically recording your practice session and listening back can give you a very candid view of your playing in that moment and will help you to know what to work on moving forward. I believe that competing in a forum like Allstate Band and Orchestra is about being mindful of several important factors. Number one, play what's on the page. Don't forget to play the printed dynamics and the articulation. Number two, play expressively. Don't be afraid to play with strong musicality as it helps to make you stand out from the crowd. Vibrato is always welcome. And number three, don't play faster than you can play cleanly. In other words, if an excerpt is marked at a fast tempo that you cannot quite play cleanly, play it slower. You should never play with finger flubs or missed notes. Prepare early and practice often and you will feel really confident walking into your audition. Specifically in this video, we will look at Anderson Etude number no. seven, opus 33. This version is from the Fisher publication, which is noted in the audition information on the Allstate website. Play this excerpt with a brilliant tone and with an energetic style to reflect the Allegro Animato marking at the beginning of the Etude. You can achieve this by playing with a strong forte sound that uses lots of air throughout. The excerpt is also marked con brio, which means with spirit. You can achieve this by playing with a brighter tone and with energy behind every note. This excerpt is to be played at quarter note equals 112. This isn't very fast, so be very careful not to rush. Be sure to play with clear phrasing at the beginnings of each of the tied notes. These tied notes are the beginnings of the phrases and should be treated as such. Putting a bit of vibrato on these notes can help them come out without being accented. We want to avoid accents as they are not marked in the music. Dynamics in this etude are clear in that you should play with a nice forte dynamic throughout. However, do notice the mezzo forte dynamic in measure nine and the crescendo that follows in measure 10. Be sure to crescendo in bar 10 and come back to a mezzo forte dynamic in measure 11 and in measure 13. As I mentioned earlier, playing the correct notes from the very first day of practicing is really important. Looking through this etude, we can see some spots where you should pay close attention to accidentals. Since this is an A major, be sure you are playing G sharps throughout. Notice the A sharp in measure 12 and the D sharp and A sharp in measure 15. Pay close attention to the notes in the second ending as well. There is a D sharp that is marked, but also an F double sharp, which is a G natural, 
just before the G sharp. Articulation in this excerpt is something to pay close attention to. Some of the bars have more straightforward articulation on groups of four 16th notes. Other measures, such as measure seven and the second ending, have re-articulated notes on the last 16th of beats two and four. It is important to bring out this difference. Also, be careful not to tongue where it isn't marked. Lastly, I want to give you some suggestions on breathing. In the first half of the etude, consider breathing in the following places. Measure three, if needed at the end of the bar. Measure five, after the tied A. Measure seven, which can be a quick breath on the bar line, which is the end of bar six into bar seven. Measure eight on the eighth rest. And in the second half of the etude, measure 11 after the tied E. Measure 13 after the tied E. Measure 14 at the end of the bar if needed, and this would be a quick breath. Measure 16 at the beginning of the bar. Just a couple extra words about the piccolo. I hope that you all consider auditioning on piccolo as it's a great instrument and it's really fun to get to shine on these excerpts. Piccolo is best played when it's confidently performed. In other words, don't be afraid to play out. Play loud and play proud. We consider piccolo a color instrument in an ensemble, which means it's an instrument whose color should be heard over the ensemble. So you want to play with a full and resonant tone all the time. The second major area to consider is your intonation. Piccolos are known for having troublesome intonation, but if you work with a tuner early in your practice, you will have great luck at playing in tune in the upper, middle, and low register. In the two excerpts for this year's audition, be mindful of playing from the middle register to the high register as we often start flat and go sharp. Consequently, when working from the high register to the low register, be careful to keep your pitch up at the bottom. I wish you great luck on your audition for this year's Colorado All-State Auditions. With thoughtful practice and preparation, you will have a great audition.